We're here in Portage La Prairie, in your residential school. This place was constructed in 1960, and it's been standing for about 100 years. And today we have some residential school survivors that are gonna be taking us around this place. Do you remember your first memory here? We had long hair when we first went into the residential, residential school. school. Beautiful, I had ringlets, really beautiful ringlets. But they cut your hair They cut our good. hair really short. I said, what's going on? I kept asking my sister, what's in Indian? Because I didn't speak English. The Canadian government created and helped run the residential school system which was meant to kill the Indian in the child. After being forced to leave their families, many children suffered horrific abuses, such as rape, torture, and even death. I don't think our parents knew what was happening in those schools. They didn't know the horrors. They didn't know the loneliness, you know, the, and the deprivation of food, and you know, they, they didn't know any of that. And we never talked about it. And, we, and, and that wasn't talked about after you went home during the summer. You didn't talk about the beatings. You didn't talk about the being raped or what, whatever. You didn't talk about those things when you went home during the summer. You just didn't. This is uh, the basement of the, the, the residential school. On this side was where the, um, the staff ate. What kind of foods did they have in here? They had the best. They had fruit. They had, they had fruit salads and salads and, and meats. Oh, just nice. the best. But. A different story for the residents. We were used to rabbit, deer meat, and stuff like that. And wow. here, it was uh, like the white man's food. Did you guys ever refuse to eat? Yes. Yes, we yeah. did. Oh, yeah, you we, uh, I had a set beside a young girl one time when she was throwing up because it was really lumpy porridge. And then the, the, it hit us like this real hard. And we had to eat her. We still had to eat her. Our, the our vomit. vomit. Yeah. Eating it. There's a part of me that thinks like it'd be easier just to forget all this. And just oh, like yes. burn this place down, you know? Mm -hmm. There's been schools that have been burnt down, where the whole community have burnt, actually burnt down the schools because yeah. of the memories of their schools. But our chief at the time mm -hmm. decided, we can do something with this building. We can provide healing ceremonies for our, for our people here. To be able to go through these places and talk about these memories, does it provide healing for, for you to be able to, to do every this? Every time, every yeah. time, every time it does, yeah. yeah. It, it lessens the pain. This is, this is hard for me. Um, my mom went to, my mom and dad are both survivors and mm -hmm. a lot of the stories that you say are there, they're echoed even though she's in Alberta. You know, they, they just, like, my mom always talks about loneliness. There's all kinds of pain in this world, right? Yeah. There's, there's torture, there's everything. But they say the greatest pain is the loneliness. Yeah. To be abandoned. That's what we felt 